everyone. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Belmont uh, year, high school yearbooks. And we have copies of them in the Cleveland room, but we also have them online. So most of them, there might be a few years that are missing. So the way you get to them, if, if you go to belmontpubliclibrary.net, and right here where it says about, on the left, you have something that says library on the right, community, and halfway down there, local history resources. So you're gonna click that and you're gonna come down and you're gonna hit Belmont High School yearbooks, okay? And there they are. Um, as I said, we have most of them. There might be a few that are missing. They don't look to be in any order right there, but. Over here on the left, what you can do is select uh, the ones that you want. So if I click more here, I get a whole selection here of um, what I got, of uh, what we have. Say I wanna look at the ones in the 70s, but I'm not sure what year. So I can select different years, whatever I wanna select and then come down and say, apply your filters. So it will go to those particular years. And uh, here we are. So once I'm there, say I wanna look at, stop looking at 1976. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna show you how this works, okay? So here's your, your right arrow will flip right, left, we'll go back. You can um, make things larger, zoom in, zoom out, like that. So that's pretty cool. And another um, cool thing you can do is this search icon up in the left-hand corner here. If you select that, you can look at somebody's name. So you can look up a name. I'm just going to type in one at random. And it'll come up with all the places that, that a person was mentioned. Say I'm looking for Francis. I'm just gonna click that, this particular one. And um, come on. it must be highlighted here. I can't see this, so I'm gonna, I'm going to uh, make it larger, zoom in. Okay, there they are, Francis and John Bang. So there are two, uh, there, and now I'm gonna go out a bit because I can't see the picture. And um, again, you can zoom in, zoom out wherever you want there. That's pretty cool. So, and you'll find wherever that person's name was mentioned in that yearbook, it, they could be on a team. It could show you the clubs that they were in. It should show you all that stuff if they're, if they're in there, okay? So that's that. Um, if I go back to my search icon and say I want to look at everywhere hockey's mentioned, who is in hockey, and if the hockey team is shown, whatever. So I'm going to type in hockey. And then I'm going to see, as you can see, all these top ones are like if I click on one of these. Um, hold on a sec. Okay. It highlights uh, where hockey was. If it, somebody was in a hockey club, it's highlighted again. So you can just make that larger. Uh, this young woman was in field hockey and uh, um, some other things too. So you would find it there. But when you come down to the bottom of this, you see if you, the actual hockey teams are listed there. So if I want girls field hockey, click that, okay? And then I'm gonna go up so I can see the picture. And um, wait a minute, uh, flip. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out a bit. Okay, maybe zoom in a bit, I'm not sure. Uh, up and down, yeah, now I can see it. If I come down, I can see the names of all the people in there too. So another that another cool thing I could do is say I want to save this picture. I can just right click and save the image as 
uh, I'm gonna say um, girls field or whatever. And I'm going to save to the desktop, okay? And I'm going to now um, go to my desktop and share that, okay? So hopefully, uh, let, let me let me share this. It takes a minute for me to get this. Okay, so now I'm going to share my desktop. Okay, so now you can see the girls field hockey team here. I'm gonna open that up that I saved. And here it is. So I'm going to um, look at this. If I want to crop it, I can do that. See, I can click that. And I can just, if I just want that particular part of the picture, it, I can just move these arrows up by holding um, the, key, uh, the uh, shift key down and just pull this along with my mouse. I'm on a laptop, so it's a little different, but so there, that's what I want. I want to get all of that in. And then I just say, save a copy, okay? And then I'm gonna girls field, I'm gonna save it to the desktop. It already exists, I can replace it, or if I wanna keep the original, I can say girls field one. Oops, that didn't work out. Girls field one and save it, okay? So I'm gonna go back to um, where I was in the, um, the yearbook, okay? So I can do the same thing kind of with the, there's, here's the boys hockey, hockey uh, team. Same kind of thing, I can't get that all in. Well, maybe I can, but kind of doesn't matter. Um, I can make it larger, smaller, whatever. So right click, save the image as, let's say boys. Hockey one, save, okay. I did this before, so it's asking me again. So that's fine. So I'm gonna minimize again, boys hockey one. Just open that up. Same type of thing. If I wanna just keep that, <laughs> excuse me, hold my shift down, come down, come up to take, um, get the names in. Okay, I'm still gonna get part of that guy was editing software. I could probably get rid of that, whoops. Now I cut the names out, don't wanna do that. Okay, so that's good. Save a copy, okay? And I could call it boy, whatever I wanna call it. And then save it, it already exists. Okay, say yes, in this case. All right, so I'm gonna minimize that, go back to my um, yearbook. And another interesting thing I found that some of these don't have it, these older ones, but if I go back and I'm going to look at uh, some of the newer yearbooks, I'm not sure which ones have it. I could, I could take these off, okay, I'm just gonna hit more. Ooh. It more again. I go down because I want to select more. Uh, I can take these off or I can leave them on to have it doesn't really matter. I'm going to try 2008, 2009. Uh, let's try those. Okay. And then just come down, say apply your filters. And I'm gonna look at, um, yeah, let's try the 2011 yearbook. And let's try searching inside like superlatives because I checked this in before so I can just select it, which are pretty cool. Like um, not all the yearbooks had it, but it looks like some of these, like the earlier ones anyway. 
So I click this. Now I'm going to make this larger because I can't see. Best height, done most for Belmont High School, last couple, all these really cool things. So you can look through that. A lot of people like to have that information, go back and see who, who was voted most likely to succeed or what whatever there was. And again, you can, um, you can crop those pictures, just right click and do that. So it's, I think it's a pretty cool database to look back on your high school days or you could look up your parents or whoever. And I, I just think it's, it's a really great, great thing to do. So in any case, again, most of them are digitized. Uh, there may be a few missing. We have also the hard copies in the Claflin room. So we hope to see you at the library soon. And uh, please come and see us. And I hope you enjoy these yearbooks and, and uh, you, uh, you take a look at these. So take care.